let's look at how much time you spend on this thing, your phone. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. It's Amin back again with Sirah Masters developing the Muslim mindset for success. Now, it's very simple video today. It's about your time and how you're spending it. Um, I wish I had something like this for the rest of my life, but unfortunately, it's only on my phone. But the good news is, is that a lot of us, we spend a lot of our time, a lot of our life on our phone, and therefore, it's very good to track your time on it. And what I'm talking about is the new feature in iOS 12 uh, on iPhone. I believe it's coming to Android. If not, it's already on the newest version of Android. Um, and they have another name for it. But on uh, iOS, it's called Screen Time. And what this is, it's, it's in the settings uh, section of, of your phone. And if you go settings and then screen time, then you can see uh, a lot of data there, right? A lot of information. So let me just give you three ways that you can use uh, this feature, uh, three ways that I'm using it. And from there, you can kind of just explore and see uh, how you want to use it further. So the first thing that you could do is just simply see how you're spending your time on your phone. How many hours are you spending? Uh, what apps you're spending most time on? You can even look at what apps are sending you the most notifications um, and how many times you're picking up your phone a day. All of this information is very useful. The first number to look at is how much time you're spending on your phone um, every day on average, right? It's gonna give you uh, the number for that day and it's gonna give you uh, the last seven days um, average number. So, uh, so uh, yes, I had a previous app which used to do this before this feature was released. It's called Moment, okay? And uh, I got the premium version of it and it used to, uh, it gave me the average of everyone using this Moment app. So the type of people that are going to use this Moment app, they're gonna be people who are interested in not spending as much time on their phone. And the average for these people uh, how much time they spent on their phone was three hours 40 minutes every day so keep that in mind this is the average of people who are actively bought an app to help them manage their time on their phone they're spending three hours 40 minutes on average so what about people who are not even actively trying to manage their time I'm imagining that's gonna be four five six hours on average per day you might think that's crazy like six hours that's that's nearly a third of your day right but Subhanallah, you know, this stuff happens. So uh, I am giving you that number as a baseline to see like where you're at um, and keep this in mind as well to put things into context that if you're spending three hours on your phone every day, I calculated that's two months of your life, two months of your year, sorry, two months of your year you're spending on your phone. Now, it might be unlikely, but it might be that you spending that time on your phone is very useful and it's leading directly to the goals that you have in your life but I think for 90% of us or more uh, that time is not going towards stuff that we want to achieve in life and that's what really this video is about I suppose is you really using your time on your phone uh, the amount of time and what you're doing on your phone for your goals let it serve you don't uh, be a servant to the phone right so the first thing you could do is just look at that data see how much you're spending on average uh, on your phone and then you know see what you can do from there so the first thing I would advise you to is get to three hours or less once you're there you know maybe try and spend a month getting down to two hours and then eventually I think you know based on how important the phone is for us you know with uh, all the apps and all that that it has on it that we might use it for so many different things I think you know one hour a day is reasonable you know uh, if you spread spread it across uh, uh, whatsapp you know some necessities on whatsapp uh, maybe even just sometimes I'm spend like 10 minutes a day on just my alarm app so you know these little minutes here and there they add up it's not a problem I think one hour is reasonable depending on of course how you how you deal with things, how you live your life, what apps you use, okay? So that's the first thing to do. The second thing you could do is you can limit your time on certain apps. Um, so the first thing that um, I did was uh, that you could do it by app or by category, okay? So I went to social media apps uh, in general or any app that's categorized as social media and I said uh, I don't want to spend more than 45 minutes or 30 minutes a day on this app. Okay, so I put that in and now what happens when I've spent 45 minutes on those apps, um, 
it, it, the icon for the app uh, it, it gets grayed out and then when I try and open it it says you've gone across your over your limit and then it gives you two options uh, you can just close the app and get on with your life or you can ignore that uh, screen that uh, warning for 15 minutes now or you can ignore it for the rest of the day so these options actually make it a bit too easy in my opinion to just carry on using the apps uh, but then it, it, it is a prompt though for you to rethink like okay what am I spending my time on okay just had to kind of reconfigure before my phone overheats as usual uh, so so yes uh, this is what I did with social media I put 45 minutes maximum now the thing with social media is I don't have hardly any social media on my phone. I think WhatsApp is included in social media um, and Snapchat. I don't have Twitter. I don't have Facebook. I don't have Instagram. So it's quite easy for me to stay uh, below like an hour or whatever or 45 minutes in the day. Um, I just have to focus on reducing my time on WhatsApp because even Snapchat, I, I'm thinking of deleting it. So um, there you go. So the second thing you can do is put limits on your apps now if you have literally zero discipline zero self-control zero ability to remind yourself what your actual goals are in life and remember how they're not really linked to a lot of these apps on your phone then you might want to put a password on this feature where if you want to ignore that uh, that limiter that screen that says you've gone over your time and it gives you ability to ignore that warning if you want to uh, put a password so you can't do it and give someone else the password then that is an option so it's a pretty good option give it to your wife give it to your husband give it to your uh, brother etc um, and just say look I don't know the password and so if you want to ignore that you need to request it from them uh, the, the password for them to put the password in to give you that extra 15 minutes or whatever if you really need it so you know for me like it, it, there's no shame in doing that like this is about like I said controlling your life and, and working towards your goals rather than being a servant to certain apps which have just been designed to be addictive and they don't actually add anything and when you die you'll actually regret all the minutes you spent on those apps because you just realize you know I had this goal and this goal and this all in my life yet I spent two months of my year doing stuff which is has zero relation to those goals so keep that in mind and um, the third thing that I did and I would recommend you do is a feature called downtime and what this does is it grays out all of your apps on your phone except specific ones that you've specifically selected to always be available it grays them all out it turns all notifications off and this is designed you know so you can have un, uh, um, uninterrupted time uh, let's say at night time so I do it I think from 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. and I just uh, have no notifications coming in no uh, access to those apps because really at 10 p.m. for example I might still be awake at that time but I don't want to start going through whatever um, apps that are distracting me at that time that's a time where uh, if I want to reach my goals I might be reading for example I might be preparing to go to sleep early so I can wake up very early um, all of these things so again just bring everything back to your goals what do you want to achieve in your life Right? Do you want to do a beda or do you want to like worship your phone? Do you want to worship Allah your phone? And you know, sometimes you might say it's a, it's a bit extreme thing to say, but really, if if you're addicted to your phone, you're using it most of the time. You love it. You get anxious if you don't have uh, notifications coming in. This and that. You know, this starts to go into the realm of worship, really. So be careful with that. So that's another feature is downtime. Um, I recommend you do that. You know. You know, for some people, I understand you find it difficult to imagine having notifications turned off, uh, but uh, and and you might have anxiety around doing that. But what I would encourage you to do is turn this on and say, look, I'm just going to turn it on for two days, just for three days. What you realise is you're not missing out. Like you don't actually mind. You don't actually lose anything from uh, turning these notifications and stuff off. Um, so so yeah like for example um one of them i think the app that gave me the most notifications was email uh, the gmail app and i just turn notifications off for that now i check email when i want when i decide to check email i'm going to check email i don't have uh, uh, email interrupting my day so that's the third thing you can do with these features in ios um the final thing that i want to say um about this uh, this whole topic is uh before you manage things Decide if you even want to do them. So for example, I was thinking of you know putting uh, a limit on YouTube because I, I used to spend quite a lot of time on my phone on the YouTube app Even while I'm not uh, actually actually physically watching uh, the video. I might play it while I'm doing something else um, And so it, it was probably that yeah, it was always the app that I used the most on my phone uh, looking at the data and stuff um, and then I just thought to myself 
I'm going to put a limit on this app. But what if I just deleted the app? Would that make sense? Would that be better in terms of working towards my goals while still giving me the space to uh, watch videos, which is something I really enjoy doing. And I have access to some amazing channels. I'm subscribed to some amazing channels on, on YouTube. I don't want to get rid of that in my life, but do I want it to the level where I'm going to have it on my phone? And I thought, again, I did this experiment. I said, look, let me delete the app for a week, see how it goes. Uh, now it's been three, four weeks and I haven't reinstalled it. I just limit it to only watching YouTube on my laptop and it turns out that uh, now that I've done that and only watch on, on the laptop, I'm still watching the great videos that I enjoy and I find use in, but it's just not as much and it's become a great balance. So the first fourth tip that I'm gonna give you is, first, before you manage stuff, just question, do I even need it in my life, right? Do I even need that to exist in my life? And so that, I hope that, you know, you might wanna check my videos about why I, I deleted Twitter and, and, and Instagram and stuff like that. Um, I hope it might encourage you, might give you the idea to at least trial out um, deleting social media off your phone or deleting the the, uh, the accounts uh, completely. You know, um, personally, just in case you're curious, um, I do not have, I have an Instagram account, but I really don't use that. I don't have it on my phone. I never use it on my laptop. Like, I don't use Instagram, even though I just have an account sitting there. Um, Twitter, I deleted my account uh, maybe 18 months ago now. Um, one of the greatest things I've done. Facebook, I don't have it on my phone. I've never had it on my phone. I have it on my laptop, but um, I mostly use it actually for work because I'm in some Facebook groups there. Um, and I use it, who knows, I might use it 10, 15 minutes per day on my laptop. Um, Snapchat, again, I don't really use it. I'm thinking of deleting it off my phone completely and you can't use it on your laptop. So that's that gone. And you know, the main social media thing that I use is WhatsApp and, and YouTube. And so now I know that those are the areas where I've decided, yes, they're worth keeping in my life, uh, but I want to limit it. How am I going to limit it? Well, I'm going to use some of the features I talked about in this video, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So just really think of, you know, what, what do I, what are my goals in life? Like, what am I going to regret or not regret doing when I die? Um, and I think a lot of the time when you think of it that way, it's very, very easy to start removing certain things from your life. And this, you know, I'm talking about social media, I'm talking about your phone, but really it applies to like everything. Like, do I want to go to that class? Do I want to go to that gym? Do I want to hang out with these people? Like, just do a bit of an analysis and think, is that getting me towards my goals? And not everything has to directly go towards your goals. Like, you need some time for recreation. Um, but you just need to make everything intentional. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is a topic, very, very important topic. Just be in control, be in a bit more control of your life, where you're spending your time. Make it all linked to uh, a goal. And so Yom al when you're being judged for every second on earth, you can hopefully justify it a bit better than right now. Okay, so I hope this helped you. Um, check it out, you know, screen time on iOS and then on Android, I don't know what it's called, but it's a feature that you've either got or it's coming to Android. So, yeah, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.